Hello everyone, my name is Eric. Today I want to talk about the Lico Daily, Daily Challenge on June 18th, Edge Index 2. These problems we want to calculate uh, in, uh, H index for scientists. And what is the H index? H index means a scientist has index H if H of his her or her pa own papers have at least H citations each. And the other um, minor H paper have no more than H citations each. And uh, to illustrate the idea, I randomly picked someone late on the Google Scholar and calculate the H index for him. In this example, he only has a four paper, which citation is 18, 11, 3, and 1. Because I know he only has three papers that is greater than three citations, so the H index for him is the 3. And uh, I also want to illustrate why we use the edge index in the academia. Because when the, we, in the academia, we not only uh, care about the total citation of the authors, we also care about how many good papers the author have. Uh, so if the edge index is high, it not only uh, represents that the author has a lot of citation, it also means he also have a lot of good papers. So for these guys, I randomly pick on the Google Scholar. If he publishes a paper that has 20 citations, you can see that he still only has four papers that is bigger than three, but he doesn't have four papers that is bigger than four. So his H index is still B3. It, also, he published over a paper that has 10,000 citations, his H index is still B3, because although he has four papers that is, have more than three citations, he doesn't have four papers that is greater than four citations. So if the H index is high, it not only guaranteed the scientists have a great amount of citation, but also guaranteed that the scientists publish a lot of good papers. So then I want to talk about how to calculate the citations, uh, the H index. And the first, uh, the, it is a sorted array of citations. The first solution we can come up with is to use the linear search. And the, the, we first assume that the H index is one, two, three, four, five, six, six. And we will check the element one. If we, it is bigger than six, it means the H index is six because all of the volume is bigger than the number of the papers. But if it is smaller than six, it means it, it, it should be small, the H index should be smaller than six, and we can try five. And in this case, if we try five, because six is bigger than five. So the H index is five, and we don't have to check the right side because it will become smaller and smaller. But for these solutions, the worst case will be big O n. So I think it is not the best solution. The best solution I think is to use, and, and the, for this problem, it, it also requires us to think about a logarith logarithmic time of complexity. So my first solution is not a solution, actually. So we should use the binary search. We don't have to start from the uh, the maxima of the H index, we can start from the middle. For example, if my first element, I choose the middle of the array, then, then we, we will find that if, if it is greater than the number of paper in the right side, in here is three, it means the H index could be better if it found in the left side. But if it is smaller uh, than, the, for example, if it is two, it means we should find a H index in the right side because there might be some, we can find at least one solution and let then the number bigger than the number of the paper on the right side. So in this case, because there are only three papers, but the paper has 100 citations we can find in the right side. And for this case, 
uh, because the paper have six citation, which is bigger than the the paper on the right side, which is five. So we can even find a better solution. We can go left. And if we go left, we found that it is a one. So it is smaller than the paper on the right side. So we cannot update the edge index. So the final answer of the edge index will be five. And uh, for this, this method, binary search method, it will only take big O log n. So it is a better solution. Then I want to talk about the implementation of the binary search. We have had to have a left pointer and a right pointer. And, and in the while loop, the first thing we want to do is to find the middle point. And if the middle point is bigger than the citation of the middle point is bigger than the number of paper in the right side, including itself, we can update the answer and uh, find the better answer in the left side. Otherwise, we cannot update the answer and find the answer on the right side. And after this while loop, we, we just return the answer. To summarize this problem, I not only solve the problem, I also expand the meaning of the edge index. And I propose a, I, I, I propose a binary search method which take big O log N. And uh, I think it is a good solution for this problem. And thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.